Hi, welcome to Dig In. I'm David. And I'm Sean. And we are interpreters from the Missouri Botanical Garden. And today we're going to be digging into seed dispersal. So, you know, David, I have observed all sorts of plants coming up in my yard that are new this year, and I know that I did not plant them or seed them. So I've been wondering, how did they get here? Well, plants, they're rooted in one spot. They're not able to spread their seeds around themselves. So they've come up with really interesting ways to spread their seeds around to disperse them. Now, just why would a plant want to move its seeds? Well, let's think about it. What all does a plant need to grow? Well, they need light, water, uh, good soil with lots of nutrients, and um, of course, space. Exactly. Plants need all those different resources, and so do their seeds. But a plant doesn't want to compete with its seeds for them. So plants have come up with a ton of different ways to move their seeds away from them so they no longer have to compete amongst each other. You know, I've noticed within all those plants, many dandelions and the bees are really enjoying feeding on the yellow ones, but the white ones, I suppose those must be the seeds. How do they disperse? Hmm, well, let's take a look at those seeds. When I look at it, I know some really interesting features. When I look at the top, I kind of see a fuzzy part, and then uh, there's kind of like a stalk, and at the bottom there's a round part. I think that round part is the actual seed. When I look at the seed, it kind of resembles like a parachute. That top fluffy part, that makes me think of the fabric of the parachute. And then the round part, that makes me think of a person holding on to the parachute. So if you look at it that way, how do you think it could move? Oh, well, they must disperse by wind. Exactly. I wonder what other seeds are going to be dispersed by the wind. Well, there's a ton of seeds that are dispersed by the wind. Let's go over to our coworker Kyle in the field and see what all he's found. Thanks, David. I took a walk around my neighborhood today, and I discovered lots of different types of seeds. One of the first ones I found were a whole lot of these maple seed spinners. These guys are all over my street, even though there are only a couple of trees on my, of maple trees on my street. These guys have, we can see, this wing shape here that makes it really, really good uh, at catching the wind so that it can travel further and further away from its parent plant. So these guys uh, get carried away by the wind. Thanks, Kyle. You know, Sean, that maple seed reminded me of an activity we actually do. If you go down into the links below, you can actually download your own maple seed spinner that you can try at home. Ooh, thank you, Kyle. I've seen a lot of animals in my yard as well, David. They're, you know, all the birds and rabbits. And I know that those squirrels have been stashing acorns in my yard because I've been seeing little oak sprouts all over the place. So I'm assuming that animals can be seed dispersers as well. Animals sure can. Animals can disperse seeds in many different ways. Some seeds have little hooks or burrs on them that can get caught in animals' hair or on people's clothes. Other seeds are really delicious, and animals will take them and collect them to eat. They'll bury them into the ground to get at them later, but sometimes animals forget where they put their seeds, or they'll get scared away before they can go and eat them. And then other seeds actually want to be eaten by animals. Those seeds have really nice protective coatings over them that can actually pass through the animal, and it's kind of gross. They'll come out and they'll still be able to grow. That's a lot of way that seeds can be dispersed by animals. I wonder if Kyle has come across any examples out in the field. Let's see. Thanks again. Uh, on my walk around my neighborhood, in addition to seeing lots of squirrels the way you did, Sean, I also have seen lots of songbirds. Especially common are goldfinches, and they really like to visit some of the purple coneflowers that I see around. 
in the autumn, they like to eat those seeds, and then as David described, they will kind of leave them behind when they're done. Back to you. Thanks, Kyle. So David, are there any other ways that seeds can be dispersed? There actually is. There's my personal favorite way that seeds are dispersed. It's called ballistic dispersal. Ballistic? Like an explosion? Just like an explosion. With ballistic dispersal, usually the seeds are stuck inside of a seed pod. That seed pod will dry up and build up pressure, and then with the slightest touch, it explodes open and sends those seeds flying all over the place. Are there any native plants that use ballistic dispersal? Yes, there are. There's actually a really common one, the violet. It disperses ballistically, and then there's a ton of other native plants that do it too. Let's go over and check with Kyle and see what else disperses ballistically. Thank you, David. Uh, I didn't even have to go very far at all. Just a few feet from my back door in my yard, there are a lot, just a whole grove of these hairy bitter cresses. They flowered a couple of weeks ago, and now their seed pods are mature. And just the lightest touch as I walk through them or as I touch them to get a good picture, the seed pods just exploded, just burst apart, throwing all those seeds all over, which explains how those bitter cresses ended up all over my yard. Back to you. Oh, thanks once again, Kyle. You've got some great field experiences out there, and you have... David have just helped me understand how all those violets got all over my yard this spring. You know, Sean, plants disperse in so many cool ways. Wind dispersal, animal dispersal, ballistic dispersal. It's amazing. Well, I'm noticing that there are now streams that are coming down the street and carried in the stream of water. I'm seeing sweet gumballs and some of the maple spinners that Kyle showed us, and even some of the oaks that we talked about before. So I am assuming that water is another way that seeds can disperse. Huh, I hadn't thought of that. I didn't know water could disperse seeds. Well, when you think about that stream running down the street, I would think that rivers and oceans could disperse seeds. They could carry them along just like they do boats. And in fact, places by rivers, like we are here in Missouri, we have so many rivers, when there is flooding, flooding must pick up a lot of seeds to disperse. I wonder if Kyle has any footage of seeds being moved that way. That's a great question. Uh, just after it rained the other day, I walked to a nearby creek, and I just happened to catch this footage of a number of different types of seed getting carried by uh, that creek. We can see that there are some pine cones going through. I caught some maple spinners like I showed you earlier, and uh, even some of the, like you mentioned, some sweet gums, although there are two of those in my front yard, so that explains how they got to my house. Back to you. Thank you, Kyle. You know, David, lots of the plants in our region are able to be carried by water, but some plants that grow on islands in the ocean, kind of like coconuts, they depend on ocean currents to carry them to other places. You know, now that you mention that, I actually have a coconut right here. When I look at the coconut, I see a lot of kind of like hair on it. Maybe that could help it float and move, but it still feels pretty heavy. So you know what? I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to fill up my bathtub with water, toss this in there, and see what happens. Let's go check it out. What a wonderful demonstration, David. You're welcome. It was really interesting to see that that coconut could actually float. Well, Everyone, thank you so much for exploring seeds with us today. If you want to explore seeds at home, feel free to click on the link below, download your own seed dispersal journal, and leave in the comments what all you discover. And look for more dig-in videos soon.